Oh guys, and we're going to start off by undoing these five bolts. I think we made the mistake last time. Right, now we took them out, then we're going to knock this out, see what happens. Again, like last time, we have to bend over this tag. Now that's up for you, now we can take the nuts off. Now we can take the washer off. But these are uh, an inch and a quarter width worth. Well, that's the socket I have anyway. Now I'll just readjust the camera. Alright, we just need to take two clips out the back.
There's another one. A dirt cover. The bottom dirt cover. Just trying to get the pads out now. They're a bit still stuck in there. They took some getting out. Well worn. Get out the next one now. I might need to work it back and forth a bit first. Might be able to knock this one from the underside here. Actually. Here we go. The other one's out. Right. Right guys. We're just going to try to remove the caliper out. Because we've got plenty of brake pipe here. You know, we should be able to just ease it out a bit without doing any damage to it. So we don't have to make a new pipe or bleed the brakes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these two bolts out. And then I'm going to pull the disc out. And then put the caliper back on. And then we'll press them back in. And we'll go and swap the disc over. And then we'll pull it back off. And then we can put this back on then without uh, having to disconnect it. Alright guys. I've just cleaned off the two bolts on the back of the caliper, took a while. We're going to use an half inch 12 sided socket, you can probably use a 13 mil. Right guys, we've just gone and got the big uh, half inch ratchet, half inch to 3 inch drive extension with a half inch 12 sided socket. You can probably use a, a 13 mil 12 sided socket, but so we're going to undo the two bolts on the back of the caliper now. Right, 
back guys there's a a bolt here for the car looper and well it was really rotten and it won't undo so we've got this socket with a it's kind of like a twist in it and what you do is you use this and it grabs hold of it and brings it off but we're going to eat it up a few times first with the torch We've had to move the car because the torch wouldn't reach where I was. Well guys, uh, the Eats managed to help us undo it with the half inch. I couldn't get the twisty thing to go on.
Alright, now we're ready to get up the top. Well, I'll we'll try to do it. Everything's easy with a bit of heat. Right, now we're going to take the uh, caliper off and uh, just ease it past. So we're just going to support it now. Now we'll do it off, we're going to ease it out past without bending that brake pipe. Stuff off, put back into place. probably do that and that's how we get it off now we'll go and take the uh, disc to the uh, the disc to the uh, workbench and we'll uh, get it changed alright now we'll go back on our wheel to help us uh, hold it down while we undo Nine sixteenths, but you can probably use forty mil. But the nine sixteenth seems to fit better, and it's probably smaller. So the twelve sided socket, because again, it's a twelve sided bolt thread or bolt nut. Yeah, so uh, it's got 12 sides on it, that's why we use the 12 sided uh, socket. Right now we've got all of them out, we can uh, knock the disc off and get the new one on. Alright, so now we're going to take the disc off, we're going to knock it out with my hammer. Slightly smaller hammer to the one I used last time, only because I don't know where that one is. Okay, that doesn't seem like it's coming. Ah, I'm gonna have to use the press. That went about five ton. There we go. I don't think that would have come off with the armour to be honest, so sometimes you need a press. 
Alright guys, I'll give everything a clean up and then we'll put it all back together. Just here for some nice dinner. Mmm. Lovely. Mmm. Very nice. I'll see you after I've finished. Right, had our dinner. There's the old uh, disc where it's been crusting at the edges. Only had that much bite in the middle, it's been crusting there. Bit of shit. We've got our new one. Which I'm hoping is the right one because they made a mix up on the front one. There's our new one. They look the same. new one. We painted the hub. Now let's uh, move everything around a little. Right, let's get this on. Line up the holes. Make up all that crap because that table is filthy. Love using copper slip. Copper slip is just the best. Don't need much, just a, just enough. Yeah, it's just a little bit, you see. All right, let's whiz all these in. Well, all right. We're going to wipe the oil off with a rag and put it on the car. All right, we're just going to put some uh, grease in that. Just try and cram it in. Just a bit. Hopefully it should work in. Alright, we'll get this on the car now. Alright, we're just going to slacken this bolt off a little bit. Before we... Uh, too far right now, we're going to lift up the disc. I'm going to lift it. Because I only have two hands. Thank you. 
Right, we're just going to tighten the top one back up a bit and then we'll put the bottom one in. Well, I think we'll put the bearing on actually before we get that too tight on, just in case. Alright, we're just going to put a bit of maintenance spray on them pistons and send them back. We should have probably done this before we had the disc in the way. Let's see if we can get it a bit closer. A bit easier to squeeze when you close them, when you get the end all closer together. one in. The second one could be tricky. Let's pull it out a bit. Take that. All right, we're just going to use the uh, hydraulic spreader to spread it. Oh, it's a bit stuck. Right, go. Stop. Release. Turn it round. Uh, off. Uh, go again. Me. Oh, that'll do. I'm going to press it out a bit. Bastard for us, we've got padding. Stop it from moving. Alright, we're just going to put some grease on these bearings. Get it all nice and greased up. Right, we'll have to uh, go and get the socket.
tightening the knot up, trying to get feel just to feel quite nice, you know. We're rubbing on the finger, oh, that's a bit tight. Put the next one on. Way too tight. Surprising how that second one really lets it go too tight. That'll free off. It's nice that. Probably the grease that we put in there. Good enough. Fold over the tag on the side. I had to put that on because I want to put a brake pad in here just so I can uh, press the other side out, clean it up and put it back in on the caliper. Right, see you in a minute. I'm just putting the pad in. I've just done this once and I didn't use the hydraulic press the next time to press them in. I used this and it was a lot easier. So what we've done is, we've uh, Push this side out because this side was the one that was uh, getting stuck and won't go back in. This side's a free side, so I'm just going to put it back in and do it again now so you can see. Three pumps on the pedal, it's come out. That side's free. In. See? Done. And that's how you free off your calipers. Right. Right, we just put copper slip on the bottom caliper bolt so we don't have a rerun the last time. Let's get that in. And get these brakes put back together because this has took way too long right now. Been doing this all day. We did have a nice dinner though. Ah. 
That's the bottom one tightened up. Onto the top one. Calipers back in place. We're turning. We have no play. A new pads. I don't think there's any difference in them. Nope. A new pads go in. Nice. We'll just uh, get some copper slip on them. But first, we'll uh, just give it a little bit extra scrape. I did scrape it off the majority of it last before we uh, started. Just to make sure. Get some copper slip on the back, around the edges. Make sure it's all nice and free in there, so we're going to have good breaks. And right now, as we're doing this, what I'm noticing here right now is that these aren't going to go down low enough to put the pins in. And I think it's these edges. They need a... Uh, I'm taking away. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to file back these so they fit in. So they lower in. It'll only be a bit. But that's why people tend to hammer them in and then they get stuck and they don't want to work properly. So what we're going to do now is we're going... Because you can see right here that the point's there. If we put the pin in now, it's going to hit on the side there. And you can just see, it's just coming through, but if you put it so the bottom half of it's going in, it sticks on the bottom. Where the old ones, if we're using an old one right now, go in much further down. And the pins go in a lot easier. Even them are a bit sticky. Which isn't very good. Especially for your brakes. I don't think there's any way around it. You know, we're gonna have to take some out. Even, even the inside one's not looking too favourable. No. Right. Well, I'll get the file. Give them a file, and then see if they're stuck in. And then uh, I'll see you back in a minute. Hi right, guys. Uh, we got them now, so the pin goes through. Really easy. That's bottom side down. It's a little bit over that one, but it goes easy on the other. They kind of wobble in there. All sides fit perfectly. I did cheat a little. I use the angle grinder. You see, we just did that edge there. That was what uh, was the problem. That's what was stopping us from... Uh, Getting them to go low enough. You do get that with a quite a lot of pads these days. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. You just get the that's the bit that's touching. You see where we ground. When I say I got the angle grinder, it was it was a light touch. It was nothing, you know, amazing. Nothing to go crazy about. You don't need to get your biggest grinding disc on the job. I used uh, one of them, what are they, 1mm or 2mm cutting discs. That fits perfectly. Let's see if we figure out how to use these clips again. Sit 
like that. No. Is it like that? I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, I think they went on like that actually. Yeah, they went like that. You can see where the pin went through. Let's put some copper slip on them anyway. Since they're a rubbing pet, they're not very good, but whatever. Should have probably cleaned them first. So already took me long enough though. I've got another two to do yet. Probably do them off camera because you you got a good idea now how to do them. You know you do, you don't need any uh, more help. I shouldn't imagine. Or it's answered all your questions. I I hope all the questions you may have. Put a bit of copper slip on the pin. I'm going to put the pin through. Put the other pin. What's the other pin? There it is. A big box of bits. Can barely find it. that through on this side. for me please. Uh, get the hammer on the job. Give that pin a tap. That's what it probably needs. Flip uh, it up so it's uh, twist it round. Then we can knock it down at the back. All nice and free. Now what we're going to do is we're going to send her off to go and uh, press the pedal. We'll wait until she's finished pressing it because she doesn't know what she's doing. There we go, see? That's what happens when you send a woman to go and do a job. Presses the pedal, doesn't let go. Alright, well we'll put the half shaft in. The battery's going flat. Hopefully it'll last. Just putting copper slip on these bolts and we're going to put them in. And then this side's, I believe, done. Seventeen mil.
And that's how you do the rear disc on a Discovery. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again. Hey guys, this is my little helper. He's a good little doggy, he is. He's been going crazy because there's a football on the side over there that he's not allowed to have because it's me brewing, so I'd give it him. Oh, look at him. Hey. Loves being outside and getting oily. Look at him in here. You clean your hands on this one. 